many people today they are judged because they lived by the time of Jesus and when he was there they could not believe in him so definitely judgment must come you hear me judgment must come because Jesus was here he used to walk through them every day but they never believed so you think judgment won't come to them judgment must come one day here I spoke something that many people they didn't hear what I said I'm sure you people at the back you can hear me huh one day here I spoke something that many people they didn't understand what I said one day Jesus his disciples they went to ask him a question they said to him ah you know according to what we had and what is written you before you come Elijah must come and Jesus said oh you people Elijah has been here but because you cannot pray you didn't see him you didn't notice him I was telling people the other day uh, those that are normally doing contributions that side I said one day when you reach to heaven God will show you that you see the person you are close with is not the person you think he is this is Peter or John because if John the Baptist was Elijah I just want to give it if he was Elijah many why many people fail to recognize that it means what happened at that time is still happening even now I don't know if you hear what I'm saying it means what happened that time is still happening even now yeah? You look at someone, you, if you are really spiritually gifted, you see him and I, man, this man, he might have been around before. telling you huh? the word Jesus said to his disciples he said ah, Elijah was here you people you could not recognize him what if what happened that time the great servants of God you are seeing them now <laughs> Sure you're not catching what I'm saying. Eh? If God did it that time, why can't He do it now? Amen. Huh? Amen. Why can't He do it now? Amen. Your eyes must open in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say your eyes must open in the name of Jesus. Oh, I'm saying your eyes must open in the name of Jesus. To know the people that are close to you. Yes. The ability and the anointing of Jesus made him to be aware that this one, this one, this one is the same Elijah that was around. I see today the spirit of Peter rising up. I see the spirit of John rising up. I see the spirit of Matthew rising up. I see the spirit of Luke rising up. And God will do it through you. I 
see God giving you the same spirit of the old apostles. Raya Kaseke ticket. Let me say this thing to you again. If God can do it then, why can't he do it now? The word of God says there's nothing new. Under what? There's nothing new under the sun. Have the eyes to understand and the read, you know, to understand the times we are living in. Who is this man? Who is this one? Because many of you here, you just see a pastor coming to you. You don't even think that maybe God can do what he has done before. Amen. To resurrect his servants to come in a different shape now. Can't the same pastor so you are talking about it's Matthew in the Bible. If God can resurrect the spirit of Elijah and John the Baptist was born, why can't he do it now? I see God repeating what he has done before. I don't know if you are hearing what I'm trying to tell you. And God will do it through, through your life. Your, your life. Now I know how mysterious this God is. I'm telling you. You people, you don't know how God works. If God can give you spiritual eyes, you'll realize everything on this earth is not normal. You will look and say, hi, this is not how things are like. I will tell you why. Why when you see the service you are doing now, according to God, the service has been done. So why will God fail to resurrect it? the old time prophets what would he fail? one day I, I, I want to finish up one day I saw a vision I had a very terrible day you know in my life I've been thinking that, why would someone you know give birth to me and never want anything to do with me I just had that question you know, as people sometimes you think, isn't it? But I never thought, in my life, I never thought of meeting my own biological father. In my life. Because I always say, if you give birth to a child, a child must not search for you. You are the one that must search for your child. Isn't it? Huh? You know, normally I see people say, I'm looking for my father so that my life can do well. Uh -uh, your father has done his part to bring you here. Now, you do your own part of fearing God. So that day, I, I want to tell you, I want to tell you what happened. That day, I was just thinking when I was driving. And for the first time, after so many years of my life, I felt my heart painful. And I said, I know, but it's fine. So now, <laughs> you know, from there, I reached home. I went to pray in the night. When I was praying there, I don't know what happened. I saw myself sitting down, crying. And when I was crying there, I see apostles one by one entering from the door. Hi, I'm Peter. I'm John. I'm Matthew. I'm Luke. 
and all of them I look at them like this I look at Peter I remember I was looking at Peter like this I said ah Peter this is you you are like this and from there after I met them John said to me today we've got a message for you I said what is the message he said God said we must tell you you are no longer a servant but you are a friend That's the message I got. Remember, I was crying. And he said, you are no longer a servant. God said, we must tell you, you are a friend. And God, they said to me, oh, don't worry about what has happened. You know? That's what they were telling. Don't worry about what, what, what has happened. I had the message clear. They said to me, God, he, he has given you the best father ever. Meaning Apostle uh, J.B. McCannanis. <laughs> you people today, I want God to reveal himself to you. Are you hearing me? I say I want Jesus to reveal himself to you. You want Jesus to reveal himself? Lift up your hands. Jesus, those you want to reveal yourself to them tonight, touch them. Touch! Touch and bring them here. Touch! 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 Touch and bring them here. In the name of Jesus! 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 I say, touch and reveal, reveal yourself to them. Reveal yourself to them. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, I see a star on your face. I say, I see a star on your forehead. I see a star on your forehead. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God has chosen you. I say God has chosen you. I say God has chosen you. I say God has chosen you. In the name of Jesus. You, tell your neighbor, say neighbor, I have been chosen by God. And the star that God has given me, from today it will start to shine brighter. I don't know if you are hearing what I'm saying. I say the star that God has given you. I see it starting to say va 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 And the demons that have been troubling you, they will live in the name of Jesus. Because they've stolen that star that Jesus gave you. I'm seeing it saying va 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 va. I don't know if you are hearing what I'm trying to tell you. The star that someone stole and took it for themselves. I see it returning. I'm hearing va 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 va. God has remembered you today. That demon must come out and leave. I said that demon must come out and leave. In the name of Jesus, that curse must come out and leave. In the name of Jesus, that curse must come out and leave. There are so many people here that were born with stars, born to be great. Born to be bigger than those that they were born with. I say, hey, that thing will still manifest. Today in the name of Jesus, 
I say it will still manifest in the name of Jesus. Because many times people tell us that we won't make it in this life. I want to tell you, I'm seeing a star on you. That's the reason why many people are hating you. That's the reason why people are fighting you. And with the blood of Jesus, I see you destroying all of them. Like the children of Egypt, they shall be left in that Red Sea. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, I take the purpose of my life in the name of Jesus. Say, I take the purpose of my life today in the name of Jesus. I take the purpose of my life. Some of you here, you go for interviews and they call everyone. And you, they say, uh, you are, you are, you're not called. The more you see problems piling themselves up, it is because there's a star on you. When you see people hating you so much. When you see people hating you, it's because there's something on you. You can never attract enemies unless you shine. Unless you shine. Unless you shine. Enemies cannot be attracted in something that brings darkness. Oh, yeah. They are attracted to something that looks unique. That looks different. That is you. That is you, my friend. I say, that is you, my friend. When when listen, if you ask your mom, many of you when you were born, so many things has happened. Some of you, your parents, they thought you're not going to make it until today. Like Jesus. When the king had there's another king that is born, he started to send his own people to go and search for him. Even you when you were born. Enemies were sent, spirits were sent to you. And they started to say, hey, we have seen something here. We have seen something here. Where is this child? Where is this child? And God decided to protect you until today. You can't tell me he has brought you here for nothing. Why? I say, I. I say, I. I say, I. I say hi. For nothing. 